Let me show you the two best methods to fix teeth in Affinity Photo. Hello my friends, how are you doing? My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer, let's get started. So here we have a nice portrait, but the teeth are a little bit yellow, so we want to whiten them. And of course also we want to remove these specks here. Now the specks are pretty easy. We simply take the in-paint brush and in this case I'm gonna paint right into the layer because this can stay that way. That already looks pretty good and now we can go to whiten the teeth. Now here's how you do that. It's very simple. Use your freehand selection tool and make a rough selection around the area of your teeth like so. After you've done this, select down here the adjustments and choose the HSL adjustment. Our selection will automatically create a mask just for that area as you can see here. So that's super simple. We don't need the selection anymore. So on your keyboard, press Ctrl D to deselect. Now you want to click here on that yellow circle and use the picker over here to click on the yellow teeth part like so. You've seen that this made a little adjustment over here for our selection area. Now we want to shift the hue over so we see where this is taking effect. Right now it's still pretty much everything that we have in that area. So use these handles to move them closer to the center of that area we have selected by clicking on the picker. Also move in the outer arms and you can see everything now is moving towards the teeth and away from the outer areas. Play around with this until you have something that only has the teeth selected in a nice way. So I would say that already looks pretty good to me. Now here's the next step. We want to double click on the hue shift so this will be reset and then reduce the saturation. You can see this basically cleans up our teeth and makes them white. Don't push the saturation to zero because this is too low. Nobody has completely black and white teeth. There's always a little bit of color in there. So keep it a little bit higher. You can also play with the luminosity to make the teeth a little bit brighter or darker and also play with the hue shift a little bit, maybe like so, to adjust that. Now still, this doesn't give us a perfectly natural color. So what we want to do here is close the HSL adjustment, and then with the HSL adjustment layer selected, reduce the opacity until you feel happy with the result. Let's say around 70 looks good to me. Here's another thing you can do. Hold control and click on your HSL adjustment. This will create that selection again for us. And now create an adjustment for curves like so. This now also has the mask on it. So again, on the keyboard, press control D to deselect. I will switch the curve from RGB to lab. And then I will click down here to make a marker, an anchor basically to fix this. I have the master mode selected here and I will move this up. You can see this brings a little bit more of warm light to us as we have in the rest of the image. Now when we zoom out, you can compare the face and the rest of the image to the teeth to see if this looks natural or not. And you can see with only two adjustments, we have whitened the teeth in seconds in a natural way. Now here's our second case, and this is a little bit harder. Whitening the teeth will not fix this problem. For this, we need the atomic method. And what I mean by that is you simply replace the teeth with some other teeth but the important part here is that the teeth are both photographed from the same angle and in the same position of the head so you can fit them into the mouth afterwards. Again, we are starting out by selecting the image that we use as the source for our replacement teeth and make a rough selection around the teeth area like so. 
Now on your keyboard, press Control C to copy and Control V like Venus to paste in the selection. We can turn off the layer for our source of the replacement. On the keyboard, press Control D to deselect. And now the selection that we have copied into an extra layer will be moved to the lowest position in the layer tab. Now I'm going to make a selection of the inside of the mouth here with my freehand selection tool. I'm gonna speed that up so you don't have to watch everything. Now that we have the selection, I need to point out when I use this freehand selection tool, I have set it to feather three pixels so that the selection is softer. Now we are going to select and invert pixel selection. So this will select everything but the mouth. Now with your image selected, click down here on mask and this will create a mask that shows everything but the mouth area. On your keyboard, press Ctrl D to deselect. And so now you can see we can look to the layer below. And this is of course our replacement teeth. Now we have here the insides, the corners of the mouth, and we can basically line them up to guarantee that the teeth have a similar size and actually are fitting. So we can do it like this, for example, make sure that the teeth are not too big, not too small, not too high, and also not too low because Otherwise, it's going to look a little bit strange. Now, of course, here again, we need to do some adjustments. First of all, I want to create a curve adjustment. Have this curve adjustment on top of our replacement teeth, but below the original image. Again, switch over from RGB to lab mode. And I will push this up a little bit because you can see our original image is a little bit warmer. Let's push this down a little bit so we keep this in the original position. I would say that looks pretty good. I also have the feeling that this is a little bit more saturated than the original image. So I'm going to also create an adjustment for vibrance and then reduce the vibrance a little bit until I am happy. One more thing I want to have here is ambient light. So for this, I'm going to duplicate our original image. We don't need the mask here, so we can select the mask and delete that. And now with the duplicate layer selected, I go to filter, blur, average. This will give me the ambient light of that photo scene. Now I move this below the image, change the blend mode from normal to soft light, and I reduce the opacity to somewhere between 75 and 50, maybe even lower. This really depends on how it looks to you. Let's go here with 30, for example, I would say looks pretty good. Here's an extra step. If you think these parts here are a little bit too bright, you can create another adjustment layer for curves. And I will simply pull down here this curve a little bit. You can see this darkens everything inside of the mouth. I don't want to darken everything. So what I'm going to do here is with this curve layer selected, I go to layer and invert. So this will invert the mask here. And now I can use my paintbrush with the color white. I have my opacity on 20%. The hardness is at 50, but you can actually set that lower if you want to. Maybe make the brush a little bit bigger and I can paint this darkness a little bit here in the sides of the mouth. So I have a bit more shadow here, as you can see. So now it looks like the teeth are getting more shadow in the scene. And I would say that looks pretty good for our replacement teeth. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And of course, I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters and my YouTube channel members for supporting me and making these videos possible. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye.